Hey everyone, Ricky Hayes here. I know it's been a while guys and so I wanted to start with uh, that it's good to be back and I'll be doing more videos regularly. Now today we're going to be going into how to set up conversion tracking for your Shopify e-commerce site. I should also add this same principle works for any type of e-commerce site as well as lead generation. It is very standardized. If you want more videos around this, please let me know. But today is just explicitly around Shopify. So once you've made a Google ad account, um, from the Google ad account, all you need to do is <clears throat> go into conversions and you set up a conversion. Now you can have custom goals, you can have a lot of different things. We're gonna keep it very simple for today's uh, lesson, so it's short and sweet. You go conversion action and you set up the conversion action to be for a purchase. Okay, because we are an e-commerce business, we wanna follow those steps. Today I've gone purchases as the primary action. You use different values. So it's dynamic values because it's a transaction in e-commerce. One person could have $20, the next person could be $60, so on and so forth. The source is the website. We wanna get every conversion 30 days, three day um, engage view window, view through one day, and I just leave it in this case as last click. We can go into an entire discussion about the different types of settings here. However, for today's discussion for this, we're not going to go into that. Next, what you want to do is you want to go tag for site. So if you had a developing a development team, you might want to email this to them. If you use Google Tag Manager, which is a highly advanced tool, we'll get into that in the future lessons, um, then you would use that tool. However, we're going to install the code manually ourselves. There's a few ways you can do it. HTML or AMP. AMP is basically faster lightning speed pages. So it does have different methods of how you do it, fundamentally similar. But most of the time, still most sites are still HTML. <coughs> um, we're just gonna choose the Google tag that isn't installed. You're just gonna copy the code. Okay, you can download the snippet, but you're gonna copy the code. We go into Shopify now, I've got a dummy store. You go into your theme. Now by default, it has its default theme. Um, all you wanna do is you wanna click the, the dot 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 there and go edit code. You wanna go theme liquid. Now there's a number of ways you can do it. What I generally do is I, you wanna put it in between the head code. And so um, you just wanna type control F, type in the head and you go to the bottom one because the forward slash means the end of that code bracket. Won't get into that. And all you need to do is copy the code. So I've already done it here, but to show you, paste, save, done. Now that's one part of it. That's one part of it. Uh, it's really simple. That will then allow the pixel to fire on any page on your website for various um, similar audiences as well as remarketing audiences and a lot of other things you can do in Google Ads that we'll get into in future ones. Uh, from there, you wanna go back and you wanna then go back to your Google Ad account. And again, you wanna choose page load for the event snippet. Now this event snippet is for the actual transaction. So right now, and everything's being tracked on the theme, but when you get into the Shopify checkout, that's very different, right? So Shopify have additional scripts option. And so you, again, you wanna copy this code and to get to additional scripts, all you do is you go settings, you go checkout, scroll down. And as you can see, I pasted it in and I'll just paste it in again. And you just go, well, because I've already pasted in, it doesn't let me save because it's nothing to save. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, what that allows it to do is, is that when someone actually purchases, what it'll actually do is it's going to attribute a conversion to this basically account really is what that's doing. Default value is one and it's currency is USD because my ad account <coughs> is in USD. So that's why I've done that. And the transaction ID, it just passes that if you need to do any troubleshooting. And because we have the conversion goal in Google Ads set that every transaction is different, it will then dynamically put the total amount of the customer's purchase um, in Google Ads. So if you've spent $80 and you got a $300 purchase, that's an $80 cost per purchase. And so you just do 300 divided by 80, whatever that translates to. I chose a, a bad example, but you sort of get my point there. Um, and that will give you a ROAS. So, you know, if it's $100, uh, if you made $100 and you spent $20 to get it, you'll get a five ROAS because 100 divided by 20 equals five. It means you got $5 back for every $1 spent. Okay, so that's why this is so important. Now that's just a simple tutorial. As I said, there's a lot more to, to this. 
um, if you want me to go into more detail. As I said, there's a lot more conversion actions that you can do for different things. As I said, your website, app, phone calls, or import. You can import goals as well um, from Google Analytics. You can do phone calls depending on your type of business. You might be an insurance, you might be a lead generation sales type business like that. You might be an app, app installs. Most of you will be just doing websites. So make sure you just choose website. Now you can put in your domain and Google will try and help guide you through it as well. But that's pretty much how you set up conversion tracking on your website. Um, so it's very, very easy. Once that's done, you never have to really touch it again unless you wanna get more granular. Now look, I hope you have really enjoyed this content. I plan to make more Google ads, YouTube ads, Bing ads, PPC oriented content. I very much love Google ads. So if you do very much love Google ads, then please be sure to subscribe. Please be sure to like today's video. If you have any questions, just ask down below. I will be answering all of them. There are some links also in the description if you're interested in joining a Facebook group as well um, to get additional free value and also links to our agency if you wanna learn more about our agency as well, as well as my software company, Day Beautify. But just check the description in that anyway. And thank you very much for watching today. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.